how special is it to have th three guys who can make 200 threes in a season? It's only been done one other time. And Jordan just spoke on how he's, you know, soaked things in from you and Clay for as long as he can, under the lights and at practice behind the scenes. And how, how neat is that for you to see? It's awesome. Uh, we obviously shoot the ball at a high level, try to be efficient with it, and we we'll do it, you know, in three kind of creative ways. So it's uh, it's nice to accomplish feats that are rare in NBA history. Uh, who was the other? I don't even know who the other three were. With Gordon, Ryan Anderson, and Harden. Um, so yeah, it's, it's special, and, and obviously JP coming to his own as. As a great shooter and you know balancing just scoring overall and also stretching the defense out so um yeah it's awesome thank you steph what do you guys need to clean up as you guys get prepared to face the top seed in nuggets on sunday uh i mean just understanding we have to get off to a better start, especially when we we're going to be on the road, uh, be able to rebound the basketball, continue to be mindful about the type of turnovers that we have that can lead to easy offense uh, or for the other team. Um, and just, you know, continue to get solidified in the rotations that we have now with, you know, a couple guys back and, and uh, understanding – how what we needed uh, or how we need to execute on both ends to to uh, have a, a, a good effort out there. I mean, you know, they're obviously a great team and a team we could face down the road. And we obviously know our road struggles. So I kind of wanted to say everything when you uh, answer the, ask the question, but it's just a matter of just trying to put together as complete a 48 minutes as possible and uh, give ourselves a chance to win. Steph. What do you think or did you see happen on the court? Because, like, for most of the game, it was pretty balanced, even game, and then it just broke open late. Um, is it like a switch that you guys just turn on and flip, or what happens? No, you kind of um, have to give credit to San Antonio. They, their record is, is what it is. But they have guys out there that are, you know, competing for their, li their NBA lives and trying to, you know, have jobs next year and, you know, they play hard. You might not recognize names, but you understand that they're NBA players and, you know, they have an opportunity to um, go out there and hoop just like we do. And they they were tough. Like, they just made made some shots, but they, they played hard on both ends and we you know, had to match that, that energy. And then, But over the course of 48, if you just stick with it, you feel like you can create some separation. Everybody expects just because of their record, you're supposed to blow them out. Like, it doesn't happen like that. So um, as long as we can find those moments, you know, it happened in the fourth quarter tonight, but find those moments where you can put, you know, together a couple stops and turn it into momentum on the other end, then you break it open. So um, just stick with the program. And what has it meant to have – G, um, GP2 back on the team. He had some impact plays tonight. I mean, he's had them in his games that he's played, but what has it meant to have him back for the team? Like we talked about when the trade happened and the build up to him coming back, he just knows how to play, knows how to make winning plays, finds himself in the right place on both ends. Some of the stuff that doesn't you know, show up in the stat sheet, um, his ball pressure, just his overall presence. So he had a big three in the corner, got a big steal as soon as he came in, got a, got us a couple of extra possessions, offensive rebounds. So it's just the little things that you can you can trust that he's going to 